friends today we are going to talk about how to become physically fit how many of you know the difference between being healthy and being fit being healthy could mean that you do not have any illness or disease and you are able to do what you are supposed to do easily but being fit may on the other hand could mean you are full of physical energy that you are inspired to take actions even on the physical as well as mentally tough task plus at the end of a very busy day at work when you join a family you are able to fulfill the demand without feeling irritated plus you look forward to each day plus you wake up fresh plus you consciously challenge yourself physically and try to beat your endurance frequently plus you enjoy doing physical things why physical fitness like all the six immutable laws which are interdependent on to each other if you are not physically fit you may not be very agile mentally or emotionally either and if you do not pay attention to this then you will have some of the following in uh, there is no way you can avoid them anxieties stress feeling of depression or negativity and you may develop many preventable conditions such as high blood pressure heart diseases diabetes and so on so friends what is physical fitness the major five thing that define physical fitness are the number one muscular fitness this is the strength that helps you to lift and carry objects at times easily without straining yourself or injuring yourself second muscular stamina this is the ability you need to have to perform physical and mental chores for a period of time the specific job requires any job third cardiovascular ease this is your body's ability to keep up with normal tasks like running jogging swimming cycling and anything that involves your lungs heart blood vessels etc to work for without feeling fatigued or dizzy or weak fourth is blood body flexibility this is one part if you do not take care it will cause many stiffness related problems past and post 30 years of age and later they become incurable fifth your body composition fat and muscles ideally in a fit body the fat composition should be around 25% of total of course you seek medical guidance of doctors on this now what prevents us to go for physical exercises there are few barriers one of the barrier is mindset okay which makes us justify by giving the excuses like i do not have time for exercise it is so tough i have started many times but left after few days i'm too tired after work i'm healthy and nothing can happen to me i will do it tomorrow i'll do it next week i will do it when i have completed this task i cannot afford the gym and there is no gym around plus there can be many more such life threatening beliefs i'll call them second understanding and breaking the myth and perception which are preventing us from becoming fit now how do you break the barriers we'll take one by one the most popular ones i am too busy even on the busiest of on the busiest of our days the busiest of us can find free time for things which are important to us only we have to 
paradise you learn the paradise and the busiest day is the day you should go for physical act exercise second excuse i'm too tired physical activities actually reduces fatigue and reduce energy level in the long run so if you start doing it with the willpower and continue with the willpower you will find that you going to have more energy as the time pass then there's a very popular i am too old and my health is not good enough in a uh, very few cases the you have to understand only in a rare few cases age health or weight related problems make certain exercises out of it but you can do always do something which will make you fitter but you must stop the doctor if you're suffering from some disease or health disorders the fourth excuse that we make exercise is too difficult and painful this happens when you force yourself to do it you have to make this fun and part of your nature by doing a few is that you enjoy and there are exercises now let us work on what activities we can do to become fit see i will give you about 25 you can choose mix and change you pick activities that fit your lifestyle for these days for yourself the first visualize your image of being totally and physically fit and also visualize how will you feel emotionally when you are physically fit second think outside the gym gym is not the only place where you can go for exercise third make it a social grab a buddy create a family or friend reach out every sunday or planning or staying hike smoking reading fourth pranayam learn to breathe and choose the pranayam which is good for you fifth take on outdoor sports that you enjoy sixth meditate seventh diet ditch the junk food eat a healthy mix of fruits vegetables fibers protein carbohydrates nuts etc eighth connect with nature walk in the woods ninth choosing something which is hobby as well as physical tenth go for adventure trips with your friends and family along with experts eleven aerobic activities makes you breathe harder and make your heart and blood vessels healthier these includes walking dancing swimming water aerobics jogging and running bicycling some garden activities like raking pushing a lawn mower then next you make your chores count house and yard work can be quite a workout especially when done at a brisk pace a scrub vacuum sweep dust mow and weed it all counts then look for ways to add extra steps take the stairs instead of the elevator or escalator park farther from the entrance rather than right out in the front get off your train or bus one stop early the extra walking adds up then avoid the car whenever possible instead of driving everywhere walk or bike cycle instead when the distance is doable move at work get up to talk to coworkers rather than phoning or sending an email or instant messenger take a walk during your coffee and lunch break use the bathroom on another floor walk while you're talking on the phone fourth get a dog fifth play a musical instrument did you know playing the violin violin for an hour burns about as many 
calories as walking. 